everybody and welcome back to sweet and crafty mama z's here as you see we are back with our rock art look at our collection it's getting bigger and bigger so today we are going to add another turtle character to our teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant mayhem i found this absolutely perfect rock in my yard actually around our fountain area that is perfect for Raph, Raphael. Here's Raphael for inspiration. So I do have acrylic paint, but these markers work just fine. I used the same markers for this rock and this rock, and I like how bright and colorful the colors are. Let's go ahead and outline the shape of Raph first. I'm gonna be using my black marker and after that we are going to fill in all the lines with the color and in the very end we are going to paint the background Okay, so as you see, I have only one attempt <laughs> to draw on the rock and I think I did not line it up quite well because if you just look at it straight, you don't see one of his feet. I wish I placed him a little bit higher, but it's okay. <laughs> I think it's going to work out just fine. Okay, next I'm gonna take my colorful acrylic markers to add some color inside of the lines. I may have to do two coats for his turtle shell on his belly. I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to apply another coat on top. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and color his skin green. Looking good and I think we can go ahead and add a second coat to the turtle shell on his belly. I was specifically worried about this area because it was so wet and the color just was not getting there. Okay, I think it looks good. And I just realized that I forgot to color his hand. Now as I still have my black marker out, I'm going to color his belt. I will color the center of his belt also the buckle and then after that I'm going to add details with two different colors. Next I'm going to go ahead and paint his turtle shell on the back. This should be a little lighter shade of brown. I'm gonna use it for this section of the turtle shell. And it's very hard to see the difference, but it is a little lighter. <laughs> Using the little lighter shade of brown for his pouch on his belt. I just wanted to see the difference. It may be not very noticeable. However, there is some. <laughs> I'm gonna use this orange color and write letter R for Raphael. And we will definitely need to do a couple coats. Okay, I mix this gray color together and I'm gonna add a stitch around his um, buckle. Then I'm gonna use similar color, however, this one is silver. So we see the difference right here. 
This one is silver for his weapons. Let's color this side first and then we are going to color that one after that. Looking good. And now I'm gonna use brown one for the handle. Let's do another coat to lighten up the handle. Whoa, it's super light now. And I put way too much color. Oh boy. Okay, let me go get a Q-tip or something. Let's see if Q-tip is the right tool for this mess I just made. Oh yeah, look at that, perfection. <laughs> And it's okay because I will be coloring the background so I guess I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit because the more I start putting color the more it's gonna get all mixed up again so next I think I'm gonna go with the red color for his knee bands elbow wrist ties and his bandana my white marker Ooh, my screen looks too bleached okay there you go and add his teeth as well as his eyes I will need to add more details into his eyes however I am going to let them dry for now Raph's accent color is red however we already have red on his accessories. So I'm gonna use orange instead to color the background. So we almost finished but I wanted to give you an advice. As you see this rock is pretty big size and I used the acrylic marker to paint the area around Raph. However, it's been taking forever. So I went ahead, mixed two colors, red and yellow together and I think this is a pretty close orange color. I mean. <laughs> it would be easy if I had orange color, but unfortunately for some reason I ran out of it I'm just gonna go ahead and use my acrylic paint and brush and I'm going to finish the rest of the rock this way Looking good. However, I want to use two coats Another advantage of acrylic mark is that it dries definitely faster than the paint <laughs> and it doesn't get as much all over my hands. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish his eyes with the black acrylic marker. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a little light reflection right here. There we go. He looks angry. Okay, I'm gonna do second coat of paint and we are good to go. All right, and here is Raph looking awesome, and I'm so glad he joined the fam. <laughs> he joined Mikey and Donnie. We just need to paint one more rock with Leo, and then we're gonna have four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leave me a comment below and let me know which turtle on the rocks is your favorite, which one you think came out the best, and click the like button if you enjoy watching these rock art paintings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!